Suicide bombing in Pakistan kills at least 70 and wounds many more. The Islamic State claimed responsibility for a suicide attack that killed more than 70 people and wounded more than 250 at a Sufi shrine in Pakistan on Thursday evening. The bombing targeted the shrine of Lashabaz Kalandar in Pakistan's southern Singh province. The shrine was crowded with people performing a spiritual dance. A suicide bomber blew himself up in the middle of the crowd, killing at least 70 people. Sufism is regarded as a relatively tolerant form of Islam. In addition to the Thursday bombing, the Islamic State attacked another Sufi shrine in southwestern Pakistan in November. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Terrorism is an almost everyday occurrence in Pakistan, fueled by sectarian violence and religious extremism. These are just a few examples of terrorist incidents that have occurred there in recent years. Gunmen storm Pakistan airport, at least 23 killed. A group of around 10 militants attacked Pakistan's major airport late on Sunday, leading to an extended firefight with security forces which left at least 23 people dead. The militants, said to be wearing security uniforms with explosives strapped underneath, shot their way into Jinnah International Airport in Karachi at around 11pm on Sunday. Another group of attackers then blasted their way through the cargo gates at Jinnah International Airport's old terminal and made for a plane on the runway. Security forces cornered four terrorists near a plane. In an exchange of fire, explosives strapped to one of the gunmen went off after he was shot. At least six officers and airport staff and six attackers were killed in the clashes. Reports say that at least two planes caught on fire following the explosion. Shortly after 2 a.m. on Monday, the chief spokesman for the army stated that all surviving terrorists had been contained in one area. New Pakistan school attack, explosions heard at girls' college. A day after a horrific Taliban massacre at a military-run school in Peshawar, two bomb blasts were reported near another Pakistani school on Wednesday. The attack happened in the northwestern Pakistani town of Dara Ismail Khan, about 304 kilometers south of the city of Peshawar, where the Taliban killed 141 people, mostly children, on Tuesday. The twin explosions were reported at the city's girls' degree college. Pakistani security forces arrived at the scene and cordoned off the area. No injuries have yet been reported. No group has yet claimed responsibility for the attack. Dozens killed after gunmen attacked bus in Karachi. At least 43 people were killed in Karachi, Pakistan on Wednesday after gunmen opened fire on a bus. Six unidentified assailants on motorbikes approached a bus in Karachi as it drove to an Ismaili Shia Muslim place of worship. The attackers stopped the bus at an intersection in Karachi and opened fire. Initial reports say they used 9mm pistols, firing indiscriminately at people on the bus, including women and children. According to Reuters, the gunmen then boarded the bus and continued their rampage. The attackers then fled, leaving behind 43 dead and at least 13 injured. The victims were pilgrims who belonged to the Ismaili sect of Islam, a small religious minority in Pakistan. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. At least 20 dead after gunmen stormed Pakistan University. Armed militants have stormed a university in northwest Pakistan, police said, with shots fired inside the campus and reports of mass casualties. Reports said four gunmen armed with suicide bomb vests stormed Bachikhan University in Pakistan from the back gate and started firing into classrooms indiscriminately. Officials confirmed that 20 are dead, with at least 60 injured. The death toll may continue to rise. Chemistry professor Dr. Syed Hamid Hussein died trying to fight the attackers. He reportedly had a pistol in hand and told students to stay inside the building. Two gunmen were killed by army troops, while two others were shot by snipers. The attack comes just a year after the attack at the Army Public School and Degree College in Peshawar that killed 145 people, including 132 children. Today is also the 20th anniversary of the death of Pashtun independence and peace activist Abdul Ghaffar Khan, whom the university was named after.